Hello, I'm Tinman432, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. Another one bites the dust. Only 12 more to go. It is giant indeed, but fearful it is not. What was that supposed to mean? Anyway, you might notice now there were um, three or er, three shadow dudes standing over me. Um, I th I'm pretty sure those are like the souls of the Colossus. Um, you might also see that there are now three of the doves that are there perched around Momo, the girl, and. Um, that number's gonna keep rising as we keep killing more and more of these colossus. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is head on from the left exit of the temple, and then continue on until you find a little opening in these uh, mountains here, and then you're just gonna ride through there, and eventually you will find the colossus. So here you go. I'll leave you with the nice silent sounds of uh, aggro running around for a few minutes. I'm kidding, of course. I don't do that anymore. I'm a good commentator on YouTube. I, If I'm going to be a commentator, I need to commentate. You can see this dust in the game. Um, that's something to commentate on. Look at that. 2005, they have dust. The effect of dust. I mean, that's pretty cool. And Monagra runs, kicks up dirt and dust, and throws rocks at the screen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> also, did I point out the horseback riding animation? Because it looks pretty cool, too. Anyway, here we are. See? Told you it wouldn't take too long. Then, let's do it. So, um, what we're gonna want to do the... Well, one of the ways. You could just jump down there and there's a little path that leads up. But preferably, the easier way would be going along here with Aggro, who goes really slowly because she doesn't want to fall off the edge. Smart, but pretty slow. So just, you know, lightly encourage her to keep running. And here we are in the little field. Got some nice plants there. Really nice flat texture. Um, but anyway, the Colossus is over here, but what are these things? Hmm, these little tunnels. We can actually go in them. And uh, there are four tunnels. They are all 90 degrees different, and you can go down here and they all link up. Isn't that an interesting, completely random, as in we won't use it later detail? Or maybe we will use it later. You never know. Anyway, Anyad. There it is. Let me see if I can remember this one's name.
isn't kind of a scary, this isn't that scary of a game, like, not in a horror sense, but, um, these Colossus are kind of scary sometimes, and this one did kind of freak me out when I first saw it, because, uh, look at it, it's like a, I don't know, this, it just kind of looks freaky in the way it moves, but whatever. After playing it and, uh, killing it, I realized it's quite a gentle beast. I realized that after killing it. Agar, move it out of the way. Anyway, right, this one's name is Phaedra. Phaedra. Or at least that's the name the community gave it. So what you want to do is you do want to use these tunnels. Um, what you want to do is have Phaedra walk over here. And then before she sees you, or he, I don't remember, and uh, jump into the tunnel and come out on the other side. But Phaedra doesn't know that you did that. So they're going to stick their head in er, inside and try to see where you went. But obviously they're not a giraffe, so it's not going to <laughs> not a giraffe. Um, yeah, because giraffes can do that. But it's not going to work. They're just going to start looking in there. And then after he does that, bends over, you can grab onto his tail and climb up his neck. So we'll just wait for that. Sometimes the AI is, sometimes, um, the AI can be kind of strange, and Fidge will not do anything for a while, and will instead just start walking over here, as if she, like, knows you're here. But here we go. Looks like it's, uh, working. There it is. When I first played this, um, this, uh, this boss took me a long time. I thought there was a much more convoluted way. You had to use aggro to, uh, jump on the legs and that seemed to be working for me so I tried it and uh, almost got to the top and I fell off and was like this this can't be the way and um, I later I was watching a speedrun of this game and they're pretty impressive actually but apparently that's a <laughs> speedrun strategy that I was doing anyway anyway I should stop saying it anyway. but you gotta climb up onto its neck and it's not gonna let you do that um, because you can't climb up on that t top section of the head. So you gotta smack it in the back of the neck. And it would be very weird to say. I'm in a uh, pretty quiet room right now and I'm talking into a microphone. Out of context. Someone's gonna hear me saying, uh, you know, how to thoroughly kill a giant or an animal, I suppose, is what I said. How to stab it in the back of the neck to make it to maybe bend over so you can get to the head and start to stop. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what you're doing in this game. It's not okay. Um, the game will address that by the end. Yeah, this is Phaedra. And I did my lock-on trick, so... It can't shake me off. And... Yeah, it's about to die. So. Rest in peace, little Phaedra. Just kidding. I would never kill an animal without showing him yet another speedrun strat. Um, those little tendrils on his face, you can actually climb on those, and um, that would be uh, another convoluted speedrun method that some people do. But it's very difficult, and um, I never and I'm able to do it. So anyway, here we go. Final blow. Peace and sheep. To you, Phaedra. His death literally sent shock waves throughout the land.
I'm pretty sure she's still dead. Okay, now this next colossus is, is pretty cool. Um, you might have, if you were paying attention, if you cared at all, you might have seen Dorman just say it soars through the sky. And um, it's a pretty cool colossus, but I'm not really going to talk about it until we get there. For um, commentary reasons. I need to have commentary when I'm actually fighting it. That's a YouTube tip right there. Because <laughs> I'm a very good YouTuber. Look at my 61 subscribers. And, uh, anyway, this Colossus is in the same direction as Phaedra, but not quite in the same direction. When I was first trying to find this one, I just ex went back exactly to where I had fought the last one and, um, couldn't take a hint that it was not there. And had to look up the location. So I kind of felt bad, um, that it was actually right next to it. But not too much of a journey to get there. I almost caught that bird there. You can actually hang glide on birds. But we'll get to that later. Let's continue on. I'll be back in a sec. For this um, playthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it. I have this new mic, so I'm trying to figure out how to um, how to talk better. How to make like a better volume. Um, cause when I first tried it, I had the, um, little cover on. Um, I'm not sure what to call it. I'm not a yeah, yeah, yeah. sound technician, but, um, it was much too quiet. Uh, that's why that first episode, I had to turn down the volume a lot on the game. So sorry if the second one was like deafening after you, um, clicked it. And, uh, just let me know if this is like too loud and I'm just trying to find a good angle. Whoa. Wonder almost died there. Whatever. It's not even that far down. Right, Wonder? No, it's pretty far down. Pretty far down. Anyway, onward. We will not stop because of a cliff falling off the edge of a cliff. That will not stop us. We will push through the ground and throw up to the other side of the earth. <laughs> but the earth is flat, you might say. We'll push through to the other side of the flat earth. I don't know. Sorry. Um, another save st save uh, shrine. You know what this means? Lizard hunting time. squeak like that. Um, that was kind of strange. But we do get a nice view of um, from on top of the little shrines. I told you we would. You just have to climb to the top and the camera will kind of zoom out, pan out, and look at those waterfalls down there. Looking pretty good. But whatever. Let's jump down. really bad. Is that I even hit that one a few times? But whatever. I can't waste all my time on this. To the Colossus. What? First I, I do need I do need Agro to come back. Agro, come back. Thank you. 
Okay, now we shall go. So here we are, this uh, next Colossus, um, the fight is in this little area. I'm not sure what it's known as in geological terms. Um, again, I'm sorry Mr. Manley for not knowing my geography. But anyway, what we have to do is swim along here. I'll have to leave Agra behind for now. Swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. But yeah, what we're going to want to do is go underneath this little um, arch here. And then when we come back in, we'll be inside the arena. For this Colossus. What we gotta do is jump out of the water in a totally realistic fashion. And then climb up this little tower here. Really conveniently placed uh, little ledges. And, um, here it is. Ooh, cinematography. And with our nice lakeside music playing, there we go. This Colossus can fly, so um, we can't, and we can't climb up on any of those structures over there. So what are we going to have to do? That is the question. The Colossus actually didn't take me very long to beat. Um, it's pretty, actually pretty easy if you think about it. But anyway, swimming forward, there's these three little platforms that you need to stand on. And once you get on there, um, you can see the Colossus there, Avion, just chilling like all the rest of these guys I've been killing. Um, yeah, we're gonna go up there, take out our bows and arrows, and shoot it. Now obviously shooting it's not gonna do much but anger it, but you know what, that's what we want. Yeah. So Avian's gonna fly over here, and we, because we're pro gamers, are going to jump onto the wing. There we go. Probably one of the cooler moments in the game is jumping onto this bird. Um, but yeah, you can see these, uh... Not really sure what these particles are that you're flying around. But I always thought it was a cool little detail. Maybe it's... dust. I don't know, but you're flying so fast that the particles look like little lines. Anyway. Oh, and there we go. Let's just, uh, let's just edit this out. Music sounds pretty creepy when it's uh, all sped up like that, huh? Anyway, here we go again. As I was saying before, this Colossus has three weaknesses. And those are at the end of each wing and on the tail, like you saw. So we're just gonna have to get to each one of those, and I'm just decided, since I'm already at the wing, I'll just try it that one first. Here we go. Gotta wait for it. Do that little lock-on technique, and you'll never fall off. But this Colossus does um, a little thing where the wing goes upside down, and you can't really stab at it. I just got really lucky there. Um, or not? Maybe I'm just good at this game. That's <laughs> actually a strategy they use in the speedruns. You just drop off the wing and go on straight into the next wing. But I didn't quite do that. Anyway, I'll stab at the tail now. Um. 
Or not get too greedy, or else um, you're probably not going to be able to get a full stab in there. But you know what? I don't care. Now let's just hang on for a little while and wait until we're flying at an even, even angle. I'm not sure. But anyway, look at that. Nice stone wings. Very flexible rock. And uh, now we gotta kill this. This is a beautiful looking bird thing, I guess. Um, I like birds. I like looking at birds. There was a bird nest by my house and then they, they took down the tree that the bird nest was in, so... I mean, I guess there were never any children in there. You no know, old bird babies. They never laid eggs there. And I was pretty sad because I, I looked at that bird nest every day for a year. And then, um, and I killed it. Like I'm about to kill this colossus. I may have spoken a little too soon. Or maybe not. Here we go. Sorry, Avion. You have to die too. And there goes Wander. The tendril things that come from this colossus take quite a few seconds to uh, reach Wander. But they do look pretty cool when you're not, like, right next to the Colossus. Look at that. Nice little patterns. And now we're about to drown. Peace and sheep, guys. See you in the next episode.